Here's how knowing the bid and ask is going to make you not lose money. So what is the bid and ask? The bid and ask is the bid, which is your bid price, and the ask, which is your ask price. So when you're, of course, this is a market. This is a stock market. It's a place where people are buying and selling and trading stocks. So your bid is what the buyer wants to pay. This is what you want to pay for the stock. The ask is what the market maker or market specialist wants you to pay for the stock. So when there's consensus between the two and looking at Apple right now, the bid price for Apple right now is 148.26. And this price changes all the time. The ask price, I'll write it in orange, 148. And it was 26. We're going to put in 27 because that's what it was. So there's a one cent difference between those two. That is consensus. You're never going to have zero because somebody wants to pay a little bit more. Somebody wants to pay a little bit less. You always want one cent when you're trading stocks that are in this price range of about $150. Why is that important? It's important and why you lose money, why people always say, Mo, every time I buy a stock, I lose money. Why does that happen? Well, here's exactly why it happens. So let's use whole numbers right now and explain the bid ask. So $150.50, that's going to be your bid and your ask. Let's say, let's make it a little bit outrageous. What I consider outrageous, and this is why people lose money, is the ask of $150.50. So you notice that in there, there's a 50 cent spread instead of that one cent spread that we had previously, which was absolutely ideal. This is not ideal. And I'm going to pull up an example of a stock that it has manipulation going on. So the obviously the market maker or market specialist is trying to get more for the stock. And as soon as you buy that stock at market value at whatever price he wants, it's, it, the price is going to drop on you. And that's when people say, why do I always lose money? Because your bid ask spread is different. There's not consensus between buyer and seller. The seller is trying to sell it. The, try, the seller is trying to make more money from you. The buyer just thinks that he's just buying it. And there's, there's consensus. Everybody agrees on that price. Well, everybody doesn't agree on that price. Let's pull up a stock that has some manipulation going on it right now. It's Biogen. So in pulling up Biogen, I notice that the stock price is $199.55, and there's a 28 cent bid ask difference. So that means that it could, if you buy shares, pull back on you 28 cents, 25 cents, whatever that bid ask spread is. And it's constantly changing right now. It's 28. I just looked over. It was 21. It was 36 before. Now it's 29. So this is where the bid ask is really something that you need to know. This is something that when I was learning how to trade, I got burned on this a couple of times because I there was a, something that I didn't check. And it's very important that you check it. If you want these rules, come and join me. I'll catch you on the flippity flop.